welcome to the Tarot Cottage. I'm here today with a pick a card reading. My name is Amy, so pull up a chair and get cozy. We're gonna have a chat today and we're all friends when we gather around my table. Today's pick a card topic um, is all about a no contact situation on your mind and do they still care about you? Have they moved on from this connection? Do they still care? What are their current thoughts in this no contact? And this could be a no contact that has lasted a while. Maybe it's lasted a few years. Maybe it's lasted a couple of months. Whatever the case may be, there could be a message waiting for you today. Uh, I want to, of course, welcome back my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your kind comments. Be sure to check your notifications if you have left me a comment, especially if you wanted to be entered for your chance to win a free reading, which I offer my subscribers as a thank you on my channel for your presence. So be sure to check your comments because I I am waiting to hear back from my most recent winner and so I will be drawing a new name soon but I like to wait until my most recent winner contacts me so we can so I don't get backlogged with <laughs> readings of course so be sure to check your comments because I'm still waiting to hear back and if you are interested in dropping your comment below for your chance to win be sure to do so if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe like share comment it really helps my channel to grow but of course i want to give back so be sure to hit your notification bell so that if you're chosen as the free tarot reader or free tarot reading winner we can get the ball road rolling i will leave you details in a comment underneath your comment about how to reach out to me and get the ball rolling so be sure to do that but for today's pick a card topic no contact on your mind uh, a no contact situation on your mind rather how are they truly feeling at this moment? Do they still care about you? We have three piles to choose from. Pile number one here with the blue flower and the strength. Pile number two with the white flower and the magician. Power, pile number three with the red flower and the hermit. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there could be messages waiting. My timestamps are listed below. I'm going to jump into pile number one. Again, no contact. Do they still care about you? Pile number one. Hi, pal one, you were drawn to the blue flower and to the strength card, and this is your reading. The person in no contact, how are they truly feeling? Do they still care about you? This could be testing your strength. This could be testing their strength as well. There's a lot of Leo energy coming through at this moment, but this could be a connection that really weighs heavily on your mind. Um, you can even see that it looks like the angel's trying to tame this panting lion. And the lion looks exhausted. So this could be a no, a long-standing no contact situation as well for someone. I also get the um, impression of a forget-me-not with any blue flower. So you could be worried about being forgotten. But let's take a look here. Pile number one, please. Using the pulp tarot for you today. This person in no contact. Do they still care about you? What are their current feelings? Nine of Swords. Page of Pentacles. The Moon. I keep hearing we could have had it all. And they doubted themselves. Chariot. Back of the deck we have the Page of Cups. And we have the Four of Cups. So we're going to clarify as we go forward here as needed. But we cannot deny the thoughts of you that pop up into this person's mind quite a bit here. Even here at the Four of Cups, you can see the Ace coming out of the window out of nowhere. And it makes this person feel a little bit depleted because they, are, they have an attachment to you. The truth is, it's not just about missing you or about whether or not they still care for you it's like they're addicted to it or it's like a an attachment issue for them that they don't know what to do about it's like there's been no progress for them when it comes to the rumination and they are really highlighting like a missed opportunity like maybe holding the opportunity out in front of them for too long without acting upon it their own shadows of doubt making them delay in taking effort or making the effort towards you And there's almost a, a, a thought process of like, I thought you were going to do it. <laughs> it's like, I thought you were going to come forward. I thought you were going to say something. I was waiting for you. But when we wait for others, sometimes we miss opportunities. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. And this person is presenting themselves as like wanting to show you that they're like a, a gentleman or like a, just a really trustworthy person. It doesn't have to be a masculine energy. It's just all about energy. 
but they keep talking about how they're they're obsessing over taking too long they're obsessing over this and i can't deny like when we're talking about the past and whether or not you are still an influence for them whether or not they still care it's like they can't help it they can't stop thinking they can't stop obsessing they can't stop ruminating it's like they're it's like they're torturing themselves with past opportunity and actions that they didn't take things that they never revealed to you and now this connection feels like something that needs to be released in the like released on the far end of the spectrum adjusted in in this shorter end of the spectrum here but they don't know how to do that here's the moon a lot of cancer energy here today a lot of capricorn leo here the king of pentacles and i just get the sense of like being all grown up now so this could be again a long-standing no contact situation it's like or I, I should have been mature enough at the time to take action they're really kind of kicking themselves for taking such a passive approach towards you yeah here's the four of wands it's like it's reverse i never let you in i never let you into my inner world or into my thoughts and so there's been these frustrating delays And I get the sense of somebody like moving out of their parents' house for some reason. So this could be a time frame issue of like going to school with somebody versus the period of life now where we're very independent. It's like somebody who maybe went off to university or who went off to college or it's like uh, I moved out. This is also highlighting though the lack of progress and how I didn't let you in. I didn't reveal what needs to be seen and now it looks like the wolves howling at the moon. And it feels like completely no contact and yet there feels like there's some type of energy exchange some type of communication that could be happening in our dreams they could be dreaming about you i can't deny that i feel like they have tried to sneak a peek at your social media they've been very passive about it they haven't made themselves obvious in fact the truth is i think that they're going under the radar i think they've almost created fake profiles or something so that they can sneak in there sneak a peek and get out unseen yeah <laughs> High Priestess, Five of Pentacles. And they do wonder whether or not you're anchored in the same issues as them. They wonder if this is a mutual situation. And the truth is, I feel like it is very mutual. Neither one of you are aware, but it's like you're both in the same boat at this moment. And they are keeping sort of their truths to themselves here. But they can't get over what they feel like they could have built with you. And this is all the subjective, like subjective opinion, but it's like they're, they're obsessing over what they could build with you. I do feel like they kind of take a step back now. They don't want to create havoc in your life. They don't want to create up obstacles for you. Uh, they could have observed your life in a different state at this moment if they have been taking a peek online at your social media. But they also feel like there's been such a lack of closure and a lack of clarity between the two of you. And that's something that definitely bothers them about the unfinished cycle here and they almost feel like it's like one conversation could could clarify everything it's like I could clarify what I held back but it's not actual closure it just sends us on a whirlwind they're also speaking about potentially like many past lives with this person as well so they could have had a profound effect on you we have the three of wands and the ace of pentacles on the back of the deck here supporting the page of cups and I can't deny that when they look into the future, they have wondered about communication. They've almost fantasized about conversations that they're going to have with you in the future. They have not taken that off of the chopping block. They haven't, they haven't taken that away from the realm of possibility that they could pop up out of the blue. They don't feel like they can in this moment, but they haven't taken that off of the out of the realm of possibility for the future so for someone watching even though there's a weight here there could be communication that pops up and for for some they are still kind of holding on to this hope that it is mutual that you are in the same boat and that you're just waiting for that clarity to come in as well so i really do feel like this person is not over you pal one not in the least <clears throat> And they, they keep obsessing over what they didn't release, what they didn't express to you. 
And I feel it's, again, it feels like if you're in the same boat in a practical situation, you could be in the same boat when it comes to how you operated in this connection. If they were waiting for you, you could have been waiting for them. We have lighten up. And it's the last quarter moon in Leo here at the Leo energy of your strength and highlighting joy and friendship and bringing clarity into the situation. And the truth is, is that they're also highlighting the, because they're asking us to lighten up, they're asking us to take off the burden of the unknown. And this could be helping you to remove some of that burden of the fear of what they're thinking. We have be humble. And we have trust in the universe. And that's the thing is that I I think they knew that there was something here. I think if there was no progress in the past of this connection, if this never evolved into a relationship, they knew and you knew that there was something there, that it should progress, that the feelings were real. There is an, a, a knowing and an understanding. But we didn't trust in ourselves enough to express it. We didn't give our, we didn't have enough faith in ourselves to move it forward. And now spirit is just really speaking about the lessons that that has brought in. Some really powerful lessons I feel like all happen in separation because when we're right close together and we're in conflict, there's too many distractions. So a lot of these clarifying lessons do come in in the midst of, of um, separation here. And I feel like a lot of these lessons have come in for the two of you. You may also sometimes worry about it or they worry about these lessons and these realities coming in a little bit too late. What are some of their current thoughts, please, of pile number one? I'm going to use the um, Entanglement Oracle deck for you today. And there is a link below in my description box where you can get a discount code on shipping. The creator has offered that for my subscribers. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. What are some of their current thoughts and feelings, please? I haven't told you everything. I've kept a lot of myself hidden. And it's because I felt unworthy. I can't decide. I couldn't decide what to do then. It's like they don't know what to do now. They sometimes feel like they they don't have a lot of options. They could be juggling a lot of different things in their life at this moment as well. I'm a chicken. Despite the potential that was here, I'm a chicken. I wish that you would give me the benefit of the doubt and I am struggling to be who you built me up to be. I always think of the justice and position and clarity. And with, I wish you would give me the benefit of the doubt. Here is a winged bird flying out of a cage. So it's like maybe they took a too long chiseling out this version of themselves. They liked to present themselves to you as somebody very respectful. Somebody who is very, again, very reliable, very trustworthy. I feel like that was a very authentic version of them. But needing an escape, having somebody help me. I can't go on like this with this ball and chain and don't wait up for me. So they may have potted themselves somewhere <laughs> with the ball and chain. They could be in a commitment cycle, for instance, that doesn't have to resonate with everyone. Uh, you'll know if that's your message, of course, if commitment cycles are an issue. And I am in awe of your enigmatic personality back of the deck says I know I should move on but it's like they don't want to and I get a sense of like deep deep friendship and a friendship again that should have evolved they're really showing me Tinkerbell and Peter Pan in a place of very like youthful nostalgia so this person does feel very nostalgic surrounding you and there's a sense of best friend energy coming in as well what are they currently feeling please at this moment in time for pile number one we have synchronicity, divine soul counterpart relationships that are blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity. And there's a reference to the honeybee and the honeybee, it's like a worker bee that goes out and collects all of the honey. There is a reference to whose job is it? <laughs> whose job is it to do the work here? And the two of you were in sync with that. We have spiritual, your spiritual journey is beginning. And they're referencing peace. They're referencing the desire to rekindle the confusion that they feel because they're seeking peace, they're seeking clarity, and that could be the force that pushes them towards you in communication in the future. Now, they haven't ironed down a time frame for that in this moment. They're just inspired by it, but they're going to be inspired by clarity and closure, 
And the truth is, is that there's a lot of confusion surrounding rekindling that energy. So it won't look like closure if they do reach out to you in the future, pal one. Let's get a charm bowl, please. I always end my each spread with a charm cast. And I do encourage, I have different little resonations for my charms, but I always encourage you to seek out your own meanings, of course. But starting with teeny tiny tarot, what is the last thought that this person had? For pile one, it's out of the bowl. The last thought could have been communication, but a lot of stress that came in. They're also highlighting, again, some of the stress being influenced by internet communication, wanting to communicate with you, thinking about taking a leap of faith into the online world. Uh, and part of what they want to communicate is, is about making wrong decisions in love, making poor decisions in love. But they're kind of halted by this fear of like, what do I do with that information once I put it forward? What do I do with a response? Oops. We have attraction with the lipstick. We have burnout here with the sun. We also have here a two of cups. And on the other side is completely blank. The blank card for me is creative accountability. And so taking accountability for the lack of relationship that formed. We have here the butterfly of transformation and things coming to light. We have divine. We have U, V, M, and S, and another little U. Pile number one is what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, please drop your comment below for your chance to win. Be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Hit your notification bell, your like button. It helps me to bring you more content. Helps me to add you to the list of, of, to my list for my free reading, of course. So be sure to hit your notification bell. And be sure to check your notifications in case I have reached out to you in the recent past as the winner of my most recent tarot giveaway. So be sure to do that. But I hope you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. I also wanted to mention that I do have an Etsy account that list or that link is below for personalized readings. Be sure to check that out as well if you're interested in a personal reading. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. I hope you have a beautiful day. Hello, pile number two. You are drawn to the white cream flower. You are also drawn to the magician, and this is your reading. This person in no contact, do they still care about you? What are their current feelings at this time? There is a reference to communication with the magician. He's ruled by Mercury, which is the communication planet. And even the white flower does speak to certain clarity uh, that is desired here between the two of you. So communication cycles are really favored here. The desire to take control over a communication cycle or to communicate with you. There's also a sense of responsibility coming through with the magician as well because they control all the elements on that table. So this could be a reference to them taking ownership for the lack of clarity at this time. So let's take a look here. I'm going to use the Mystical Medley's Tarot for You Pile 2. The person in no contact, do they still care about you? What are their current feelings for Pile number 2, please? Queen of Swords coming through here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. This person claims to not have told you how they feel because they didn't think it was mutual. And they're wondering now if that was kind of a failure on their part. Here's the Ace of Swords because here's the Ace of Swords with clarity of thought. And you can see how it's chopped off this tree and it has band-aids all over it. It's like I had to wait for this clarity of thought, or maybe they're waiting for that tree of life to be chopped down, waiting for a new initiating cycle, waiting for clearance or freedom to be able to start anew or bring forward a new perspective, which actually represents the truth because they haven't shared the truth with you. Back of the deck is the chariot, the 10 of wands, and they've carried this truth with them, this desire for you. I feel like a, for a long time, this doesn't even feel like a relationship that got off the ground. 
And that was a similarity in Powell 1 as well, although I feel like there's a lot of different dynamics here. Uh, it just feels like a relationship that should have gotten off the ground or needed more exploration to get there. Page of Cups. And they want to talk with you. <laughs> like they, And they are motivated to talk with you. And I wouldn't be surprised if ultimately there would be communication between the two of you in the future. However, I am getting a message here about wondering if you have space for that, wondering if you are juggling a lot in your life in this moment. And we can't deny that this Queen of Swords, who is often a leader in all sorts of realms of her life, she can be a teacher, she can be an ed, like she's just, she uses her voice in so many different ways. She's an authority figure, she can be an entrepreneur, she's carrying a baby, she can do it all. And so they are referencing you. They're referencing career as well. So that could be a factor for someone. Or it could just be the fact that they think a lot about you while they are working. Because that's when they have time to really ruminate about everything. But they're also referencing how they're in the present moment, they're keeping themselves back from communicating with you. Because they don't know if luck is on their side when it comes to position. When it comes to commitment cycles. When it comes to your responsibilities. And... Part of them wonders if you're satisfied there. Part of them wonders if you've lowered your standards in those environments, to be honest with you. They didn't share how they truly felt in the past because they felt unworthy of that. They just didn't feel like they had enough, they were enough. Maybe they didn't come from a really financially secure family. I just feel like they were lacking something. At least they determined or they they thought that they were lacking something, that they they didn't have to offer you. And they are referencing like a pauper type feeling to myself, like somebody who feels like they don't have enough financially. And they lied about how they felt. They lied to themselves. They weren't honest with you. They weren't honest with themselves. And they're angry at what they preserved. Because they feel like if they weren't so defensive, then they would be waving a red flag of victory with you in this moment. Yeah, here's the sun. There's such a strong emphasis on this pile pile too on clarity, the bull spectrum, the sun coming out, and how they know they have the freedom of choice to come forward with that clarity today. But again, I also feel like they don't want to create obstacles for you. They're waiting for some type of clearance waiting for cycles to end so that they can have a conversation with you and clear the air. I also get a sense there's a lot of Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy coming through, a lot of Leo for the Divine Feminine. And you could be waiting for communication. The luck could be completely on their side where you actually do want to talk to them. You could, be, you could have been waiting for years potentially here to hear from them. And we have the Three of Wands. But Spirit says, again, th there's a feeling of being kept waiting a little bit. But when you look into the future, even you determine that there could be a conversation needed or that there will be a conversation. You could be motivated to bring forward that conversation. And the truth is, Spirit says that there could be communication that pops up suddenly in your life from this person out of the blue. Here is the Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles. And look at how depleted this person is when it comes to what they feel like can be done at this moment. This is obsessive thought. This is an emotional response to disappointment in myself because I didn't do what I should have done or I, I didn't think I was enough. They do feel like they are enough today. Circumstances have changed. But it's like the obstacles... Although they're different, because we didn't face them in the past, they just have transformed into a new shape and they've moved themselves forward in a different form. And so we still have those obstacles, those hurdles to overcome, even when it comes to clarity in the future. They hope, they hope that this is temporary where there's no contact. They hope it's temporary. They're trying to be cautiously optimistic. Again, they keep highlighting, waiting for perhaps your cycles to end, Wondering if you're satisfied at all in those cycles as well. This could have been a situation where you went to school together or you worked together in the past. 
keep your heart open and wanting to go deeper. And back of the deck says step up and lead with new moon and Capricorn. And that's what they're trying to manifest. They're trying to manifest their own ability for leadership. They're trying to manifest change and movement and arrival. But they are afraid of what's going to meet them on that journey. They do want to go deeper into how they truly, truly feel. They want to let you know about how they were feeling in the past and about how they are still holding on to those that clarity, that vulnerability in the present moment. I'm going to use the Hermit Tarot for you for some messages from this person, Pal 2. How are they currently feeling, please? In this no contact situation, do they still care about pile two? There is someone else. It could be for the divine feminine, could be for the divine masculine. And it doesn't even have to be that configuration. It's all about energy. It has nothing to do with gender gender. But there's complications in in karmic cycles, potentially specifically for divine feminine. And that's what's getting in the way of the opportunity today. Because they still feel like there's challenges to overcome, but they still want that doorway, that opportunity for change to be there. We have a lot coming out here. I worry about us a lot. It says they're waiting for you reverse. And it says I'm ready with the fool. And this seven, the worry, the insecurity, the overthinking, it sort of matches the seven of the chariot of being emotionally pulled in different directions because sometimes they say I'm ready to leap. And then sometimes they're like, actually, no, wait, I'm waiting for you. It's like a back and forth. I sometimes wonder if you even care. It says here you are wrong. When they wonder, they're completely wrong. They sometimes, when they tell themselves that you care, they tell themselves that they're wrong. It says now is not the time. Perhaps because there is someone else. I took wrongful advice in the past of this connection. They listen to the wrong voices. They listen to the wrong advice. But I feel the same way. And they're like, maybe, maybe you do too. Maybe have I lost everything? I want a fresh start with you. And there is an emphasis on like curiosity, physical curiosity, sexual curiosity as well in this connection, how to. They truly feel please about pile number two in no contact do they still care we have guilt don't let guilt get in the way of the happiness and guilt could be coming in because of third party interference it says here you need to have trust you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish you can see that there's a stopwatch on there or a a watch on their wrist and it looks like a commitment cycle being showcased here and so there's a request for faith about even if there's timing issues here even if it's taken a few years and now is not the time it's like they're waiting for an ending to bring in new opportunity or in the very least to bring in clarity and closure now we also they've split the deck for me between temptation and let go Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. And it says, think carefully about your situation when it comes to the temptation that this creates. So you may feel tempted in a third party situation to reach out and vice versa. But they are highlighting that there are practical complications that are getting in the way of this situation at this time. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. The last thought they had about pile two in no contact Disappointment, three of swords, the justice, the five of pentacles. It's kind of coming in a state of limbo, which is perhaps what you feel like in this connection. Everything's staying stagnant. The last thought that they had was about the truth, the reality. Uh, the justice can speak about my position and like the karma I'm going to ensue if I give in to my desires in this moment. We have the five of pentacles reversed, which is asking for sort of a release. It's like they do think about like new home, new new attitude towards life. Like just they do envision a life that they could have built with you. And there's a lot of heartbreak surrounding the karma that they're ensuing now because they didn't take that chance.
The tower has fallen. We have the dream on one side, kiss on the other. So perhaps dreaming about that, dreaming about physical connection. But the tower is falling, reference to what I've invested. We do have the strawberry. I always think of the age 17, so that could be significant for you. And I think of that song, Strawberry Wine. The summertime, just heat, youth. W, N, M, and T in the bowl. Could be initials. Pile number two, that's what I have for you today. Hope it resonates with you. If it does, drop your comment below for your chance to win a free reading with me and be sure to hit your notification bell. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personalized reading and that link is below too. And I do update that shop every day. So I hope you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hello, pile number three. You were drawn to the red flower. You were also drawn to the hermit and this is your reading. No contact situation on your mind. Do they still care about you? What are their true feelings at this moment? Now the hermit is ruled by Virgo and there's a sense of retreating with my feelings. So being out of sight does not necessarily mean that you are out, or sorry, yeah, out of sight, out of mind. That's not the case in this situation here. You can see the old lantern in his hand, which could speak about a really old connection and how that light is still lit. It's like the eternal flame, but it does feel like a singular candle does speak to, it's like it's being protected from the winds, which means that it's also being protected from growing because flames need oxygen to grow. Uh, and so they're, there could be too much protection going on here. It's too much isolating, perhaps. And there is a sense of loneliness when it comes to empowerment and my empowerment being burnt out a little bit. <clears throat> Pile number three, please. Do they still care in this no contact situation? What are their current feelings? I'm using the everyday witch tarot for you to begin. We have the Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. The Three of Wands. Whoopsie daisy, it bumped you. We have the Emperor. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting a sense of like somebody who's trying to dream about repair, but they don't know if it's possible. We have the Ace of Swords. I really feel like this person had a huge crush on you, Pal 3. Like they're emphasizing, they're emphasizing desire and want and wishes. And like for me with the five and the, the four is the nine of cups. And here we have the three of wands. Um, you still trigger this person. Whether they like it or not, you still trigger this person. And they're in some ways, it's like they're still protecting the investment that they had in this situation, especially the desire, the wishful thinking. They're protecting that um, because they keep having the same thoughts about you that they did in the past. Back of the deck is the two of wands and there's the beautiful empress. Now you'll notice the emperor and the empress are both here and here's the beautiful queen of pentacles. So this could be a reference to other females, for instance. This could be a reference to position because look at her with that broom. She's got a bunch of kittens down below. Um, and what's hanging above her head are a bunch of grapes, a whole bunch of fruit. So maybe she's got all of these responsibilities with the kittens and she can't give in to the grapes and the temptation. So this could be a reference to your position. This could be a reference to their position and their responsibilities and what they're trying to protect at this point in time, which is why they keep themselves hidden. Because this person loves to fantasize about you. This is one of their favorite pastimes, even in the, in the 3D in the present. I think that they had a huge, huge desire for you in the past. And why wouldn't they when you represent the beautiful Empress? And so they sort of escape to, they escape to these thoughts of you. And these thoughts of you make them feel very restless, a little reckless, if I'm honest as well, especially if they're protecting some type of home. They are giving me fatherhood energy coming through as well. <clears throat> but also the divine feminine is giving me motherhood energy as well. And there's the empress. 
And that motivation, you'll notice both completely different decks, beautiful pregnant females that could be referenced for someone. So please take that as it resonates. I am reading for the collective. So there's lots of messages coming in, but you'll know if that message is for you. Sometimes they wish to throw caution to the wind and sometimes they wish that they didn't care what other people thought. Because if they didn't care what other people thought, then they wouldn't have to stay hidden with how they actually feel here. But what stops them, we, they have a lot of regret when it comes to you. And they're still trying to sort that out. Because now they're referencing the picnic basket and they're showing ants carrying away the picnic basket. And the ant is, it makes me think of the colony of bees and these worker ants that have to go out and they have to scout and they have to bring back energy. So there's a sense of like having something planned and needing to put the effort in, but maybe I felt overlooked and maybe I didn't feel motivated or I didn't, I didn't think that you felt the same way. And so I waited and waited and waited. We have the world. I also feel like there's a certain amount of intimidation they felt towards you in the past as well. Uh, that's coming through as well. Because they just feel like there's unfinished cycles here. And they keep referencing other people's opinions and not wanting to care. But they also feel like they have a lot of responsibilities that they have to juggle along with this connection. So they're not only juggling their practical responsibilities, their environment, their job, their home, but the waves of emotion that come in with this connection. On the floor, we have the five pentacles and they do feel like they have a lot to lose. But they wonder about upgrades with you. And I do feel like they've spent some time investing in new environments, but they still wonder about upgrades with you. Because now they're sort of showing this beggar energy, but they're highlighting like a beggar that gets up, collects their things, goes to their nice car, gets in their nice car, <laughs> drives away. Here we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. And they're really trying to like take on the responsibility. Like they're, they're taking creative accountability for what they've experienced. They're like, I put myself in this position. Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't fall into it. It wasn't an accident. I put myself into this situation because maybe I waited too long. Uh, maybe I ignored an opportunity. I didn't listen to the opportunity when it presented itself and they really go over that moment in the past. I feel like they wish that they could share this with you. But there's, there's such an observation here to this Queen of Pentacles and how she's doing so much work. Again, this Queen of Pentacles that's surrounded by so many responsibilities. And that could be why they hold themselves back from the initiation of, of new ideas, um, to clearance, to growth. They don't know if it's possible because they also feel like maybe you have a lot to lose in the present moment. I'm going to use the Honest Love Tarot for you today, Pile 3, to get some messages of their current feelings, please. How does this person on their mind in no contact currently truly think and feel at this time? Do they still care? It says here, I'm ready to fight for this, the five of wands, but there's a bit of a competition, a bit of a, a jealous energy that comes through with that. You have to find a determination to plow through the five of wands. And with the four of cups that keeps showing itself, four of cups, four of cups, there's an, a certain amount of apathy and helplessness that comes in with that, that will help to motivate a less than active approach. They think that you have unfinished cycles and unfinished business, the world. I do feel like they've observed you online, although I don't think they make a habit out of that. In fact, this would almost be the type of person, to be honest with you, that wouldn't have social media. I feel like this person might not be that type. I wish that I had made better choices in love, the lovers. But it wasn't until they experienced contrast in relationships that they were able to come to that conclusion. So that contrast was important here. This is far from being over. It's far from being over for this person. I am making plans for us. 
They're also referencing feeling like you sent them mixed signals in the past of this connection, which it's kind of like they're coming up with these excuses as to why they hid their feelings. I also get a sense of perhaps somebody who is a little sh quiet or reserved, maybe shy. Because they do feel like communication would equal truth, clarity, and success. That's what's coming in the future position. That's what they're hoping perhaps you'll do the work <laughs> and bring forward that information of communication that equals truth so that they can feel more successful. I shouldn't have treated you like all of the rest. We have let's talk about sex, baby. And this could, and this is speaking here about regret and loss, wishing that they could capitalize upon it in the, a physical union with you at this moment, but feeling like they have a lot to lose. It's like, I thought I had more time with you. I didn't realize this would be taken from me so quickly. And I am tired of holding back, but I don't, I don't reach out because I'm afraid of where this path will lead us. And that's why they retreat. But that's why they're also holding that lantern in front of them and why they're not, why perhaps they aren't actively taking steps to, or at least tiny, tiny micro steps perhaps they're taking towards you um, because they are afraid of where this path leads. We have release control. Oops. And we have step up and lead. This came out in pile two, I believe. It says be real. And in this moment, it's like they are being asked to release control or they feel like they have to in this moment because they don't have any control over the situation. And if there's going to be clarity, then somebody in this connection must step up and lead and turn plans into action. But they are going to take their time, pile three, before they do feel motivated by enough encouragement or motivated by enough confidence to come forward out of the blue for you. But there is a desire for them to take the mask off and to finally be authentic in this connection. How do they currently truly feel in this no contact situation, please, for pile number three? We have attraction, divine soul counterpart attraction, transcend superficiality. So it's not all about the physical. It's about a deep connection. It says cherish your relationship. And that's what I feel like could be the obstacles here. Look for ways around the obstacle to find happiness. And they have considered reconnection. We have power showing and connection in the reverse. Um, and they wonder if they're strong enough to take the steps they feel guided to take because of the risk that they feel like they're taking. But they do feel like magnetized, like a power, the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. So they do feel that strong desire, that strong pull towards you in this moment that also could be the motivating force to them reaching out. But spirit does indicate that in this pile for pile three, that this communication that could happen in the future, it's, it's, there's a sense of delay. Or in the very least, it could test your patience here where you feel overlooked. And this could inspire you to take on the creative motivation to be the force of, of communication in the future of this connection. They do feel like, it's like they've internalized this idea that your a life with you would have been more powerful or more enjoyable. But that is a subjective opinion. What was their last thought in the bowl today? Please pile three. Two of Wands, Four of Swords. Reverse and the Queen of Wands reversed. There is a reference here in these thoughts to wanting to get back out there into the world and feeling really restless and feeling burnt out, maybe with all their responsibilities, wanting to take their plans and their fantasies and bring it into some type of into some type of reality. They're all these they're also referencing a divine feminine who is kind of angry at them <laughs> or there's an anger issue or like an argument. So they, this could have been, these thoughts could have been ignited by arguments that they had in their relationships with other people. Whoops, I need to get your charms. We have the... White pants, I do think of like scrubs, but I also think of like the sisterhood of traveling pants. <laughs> we have the chain of events, so attachment, Capricorn, U and F, 
There's a Taurus as well of unfinished cycles and a situation that didn't progress. We had a golden opportunity, but perhaps we kept ourselves too protected. Lots of Sagittarius energy as well. And the relationship evolving to next phase or to a new phase, there's evolution. Uh, but there's also a period where we have to turn ourselves into a liquid soup, I just heard. So a reflection period that's necessary before we perhaps transcend the lack of communication here. Pile three, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. I'm praying for you. Drop your comment below for your chance to win a free reading with me. And be sure to hit your notification bell so that I can notify you if you are chosen. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading, and that link is below. And I do update that shop daily, so keep checking back. But I hope you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day.